Less than two years ago, Tesla built the world's largest lithium-ion battery farm in Hornsdale, South Australia. It was built in response to the damaged and rapidly failing critical infrastructure where a massive storm caused widespread power outage in South Australia. Almost the entire state lost its power supply, affecting some 1.7 million residents. Elon Musk built the entire battery farm in a record 66 days, and today it provides enough power for 30,000 homes, roughly equivalent to the amount of homes that lost power during the South Australia blackout. The entire facility reportedly saved over $40 million in the first year alone and helped to stabilize the grid. Not only that, the Tesla battery storage farm, which is wholly owned by a private company called Neon, is looking to file for an IPO after it earned $13 million after taxes in the first six months of operation. Fast forward two years as Tesla released its second quarter 2020 financial results just a few days ago. We can see something very interesting. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, Tesla released a whopping $6 billion in revenue for the second quarter alone. But that's not the interesting part. Although recently launched last year and still ramping, the Tesla Mega Pack generated a profit for the first time. Solar panel installation services also tripled in the United States, resulting in Tesla's stock hitting an all-time record high of around $1,800 per share, making Musk the fifth richest man, surpassing Asia's richest man, Mukesh Ambani from India for a brief period of time. The dizzying rally of Tesla's share in the markets reinforces the notion that renewables would be one of the main profit generators for Tesla, along with its electric cars and power storage solutions. According to the billionaire and investor Chamath Palihapitiya, Tesla's renewable energy business could push the company's worth into the trillions. He's not wrong. At present, just the total addressable market for the utility energy storage could scale to $800 billion. Musk himself stated that Tesla's energy storage business will see an insane growth in the coming years and will be as large as its electric car business in the future. For the past four years or so, Tesla has been asking its investors to not just look at the company as an automobile company, but as an energy company, even dropping the word motors from Tesla Motors and changing it to just Tesla Inc reflecting the fact that it no longer just sells cars. Musk paid a whopping $11 million just for the domain name Tesla.com, thereby shortening its website from TeslaMotors.com to just Tesla.com. Overall, the energy storage installed was up by 61% on a quarterly basis, signs that the business is beginning to recover to the levels before the coronavirus pandemic hit. Tesla's expansion is only imminent as customers line up to buy into their utility energy storage solutions. And Tesla's Mega Pack are among the most profitable and reasonable businesses in the rapidly increasing business portfolio of Tesla, as more and more countries are increasingly shifting to renewable energy. As the battery costs continue to fall, the energy storage solutions by Tesla will begin to compete with the existing natural gas peaker plants, reaching a point where the utility energy storage companies would be forced to shut down their underutilized plants. Musk even tweeted out to the Public Utilities Commission urging them to start using Tesla Mega Pack as it's better for the environment and costs even less than a fossil fuel peaker plant. It might seem strange to advertise the newly released Tesla Mega Pack on Twitter and telling his own Twitter followers to reach out to the Utilities Commission, but it sure did work. Tesla has already reached a deal to replace a gas peaker plant in Southern California with a new big mega pack project last year. These peaker power plants, which would be replaced, are highly inefficient and generally run only during high demand or peak demand for electricity. They're not only costly to operate, but are also harmful for the environment in general. Since it only runs for a short variable time, it doesn't make any economic sense for the utility companies to make these peaker plants as efficient as the base load power plants. Using Tesla's Mega Pack, the utility companies can deploy an emissions free 250 megawatt to 1 gigawatt power plant in less than three months, which is four times faster than a fossil fuel power plant. 
Tesla also received approval from the gigantic 1 gigawatt hour of megapacks to create a massive energy storage system in California with Pacific Gas and Electric Company. The large container size energy storage system that Tesla plans to deploy in the upcoming Moss Landing project shows the utility company's willingness to use Tesla Megapack instead of its usual peaker plants for large-scale utility projects. Tesla plans to deploy a whopping 449 Megapacks at the site, having a total capacity of 1,200 megawatts per hour, with each Megapack having a capacity around 2,673 kilowatts per hour. Just to give you an understanding of the scale of this project, the total 449 megapacks to be installed in this project is more than the entire capacity deployed by Tesla in its first three years of operation, and this includes all the power packs and power walls combined. Notice that the 1,200 megawatt per hour energy rating is four times the 300 megawatt per hour power rating. That means the mega packs are capable of supplying the peak power rating for four hours. That's certainly a huge portion of the evening power peak, where most people get back from work and turn on a lot of appliances and home cooling and heating. Peak power is usually supplied by inefficient, costly, and polluting peaker plants that may run on a coal or natural gas, and it is 10 times the cost of regular power. This is indeed a smart move for the utility companies, as it would reduce the total cost of energy to their customers. Tesla has recently been selected as the battery supplier for another massive new solar and energy project for Switch's data center in the state of Nevada. Switch's data center company is actually a neighbor of Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada. It's a no-brainer for the data infrastructure giant to turn to Tesla for its solar and energy storage infrastructure needs. The company announced that it would be breaking ground on three new projects, totaling 555 megawatts of solar power and 800 megawatts per hour of battery storage. Tesla's energy division is slated to expand rapidly in the near future and may eventually even dwarf the electric car sector. Tesla's ultimate aim is to become a massive distributed electric utility in the energy sector and has just recently launched a new product called the Auto Bitter. Auto Bitter is basically a marketplace for electric utility companies to use their capacities in exchange for compensation. Tesla says that Auto Bitter is successfully operating at Hornsdale Power Reserve HPR, in South Australia and through market bidding has added competition to drive down energy prices. The new platform reportedly works not only with Tesla's power products but also appears to be compatible with any type of energy storage. Here's a picture of the UI of Tesla's Auto Bitter product. This is a very interesting development, as I could see in the near future where Tesla leverages its massive deployment of solar and energy storage solutions to create suitable marketplace for the electric utility companies to get compensated for their energy solutions. Like the Moss Landing Station project, which is a game changer for California, this can be a game changer for utility companies. I think we're going to see a lot more on that front from Tesla once they start to iron out the production and ramp up the energy products like power walls and solar roof tiles. As far as the mega pack is concerned, Tesla will likely achieve a huge volumetric increase in energy storage capacity over the power pack too. Tesla will not only save a fortune in installing the mega packs for large scale projects since a single mega pack is going to be a lot quicker to install than say a dozen power packs. I personally feel Tesla is going to get more intertwined in our life as it ventures into the internet business sector too, as mentioned in our previous video, how SpaceX's Starlink will change the infrastructure of internet forever. Link is in the description below if you're interested. Do you think Tesla is going to be a huge player in the energy sector? Let us know in the comments section below. So we'll leave it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit that like button and do subscribe for more awesome content. See you guys next time.